Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sugar MD YouTube channel that is dedicated for diabetes. Today we are talking about cinnamon. Does cinnamon help your diabetes or your fasting blood sugars? I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. Let's get started, guys. All right, so common question. Hey, doc, does cinnamon help diabetes? Well, it is kind of a difficult question to answer because there's a lot of variabilities to it. And I'm going to keep it nice and short, guys, but I will also tell you what exactly I know, what I have seen from my patients as well. Now, there are a lot of studies today, maybe hundreds, and we still cannot for sure tell if cinnamon helps if you have diabetes. Now, it does help in some people. I'm not saying that cinnamon does not help. What I'm saying here is that we do not have conclusive evidence that the cinnamon helps to everyone, at least some. So, the reason for the variability among the studies is because they either use a different cinnamon because there are tons of different cinnamons out there there's chinese cinnamon there's vietnamese cinnamon this cinnamon that cinnamon there's so many cinnamons out there and the studies do not necessarily use one type of cinnamon they do not necessarily use one type of dose and the studies who really show benefit typically have cinnamon pretty high dose and i'm gonna give you some perspective here so for example one gram of cinnamon is half a teaspoon now there are studies using up to six grams of cinnamon and if you think about six grams that's gonna be like three teaspoons of cinnamon how are you gonna have that i mean you must really love cinnamon i mean come on i mean there are some studies saying that as low as 200 milligram cinnamon may help but I don't really know if, if it really does. And another thing that some studies who showed the benefit, they said that it showed the benefit after three months. So you have to have the patience to wait three months to see the results. Now, if I was diabetic, would I do that? Uh, if I was really desperate enough, I would probably go for it. It's not necessarily harmful unless you have a liver disease if you have chronic liver disease or advanced liver disease i'm not talking about like a little fatty liver or anything like that i'm talking about like significant uh, fibrotic liver disease can definitely too much cinnamon can cause problems in your liver but it also has been shown to help your cholesterol it has been shown to have anti-cancer effects. It has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant effects. So overall, cinnamon is a very good spice. But I'm just not sure about eating three teaspoons of cinnamon every day. Now, of course, you know, that's why there are supplements out there, right? So they kind of, you know, put it together. You know, they put it on a capsule or a tablet. You swallow it. You don't really feel like you're eating something. I mean, you, you guys already know we have our own supplement. And we have 12 different ingredients in our supplement. And the reason is we know what works and what doesn't. And uh, as a result, you know, we try to put things together to make it work. Uh, sometimes just one thing at a time does not work even for regular pharmaceutical medications some of you guys are on like you know two three four five different medications to kind of get the job done and then you know the supplements are good but they are not necessarily as sometimes as strong as regular medications although on the plus side they are natural but just using cinnamon and hoping that your blood sugar comes down, comes down from 300 down to 100, it may be a, a little unreasonable. If it happened to someone, I'm not saying that it wouldn't happen. It may have happened to someone if you do go on a nice diet and exercise and use some cinnamon high dose, maybe it will work for you. I mean, you it, there's it's not going to hurt to to try, but if you're not really on a good diet and exercise, pretty much nothing will work for you. So if you're just eating whatever you want and you're not working out and you just hope that the supplements will work for you, they will, but they're not going to get you to where you want to be. So we have to 
kind of open our eyes to the truth a little bit here. Same thing with our supplement, the Sugar MD supplement. It works well when you're on a reasonable diet, but when you go eat pizza and expect it to work, it's just not going to happen. I mean, you can be on best pharmaceutical agents that are like thousands of dollars out there, eat pizza, you, you will have a problem. But the bottom line, guys, I know a lot of you guys are using now by, by now the Sugar MD supplement, and we are constantly working to improve our supplement based on the feedback from you guys. So if you are using our supplement right now and you're happy about it, give a nice positive feedback on Amazon, for example. If you are not having a great result, if you're having any side effects, some people say diarrhea may happen. Or if your sugars are not coming down enough, shoot us a, shoot us a message. Maybe we'll, we'll help you guide uh, you with your diet and so forth to kind of uncover maybe a problem. So for example, a lot of people will eat cereal in the morning and they'll wonder why nothing is helping their blood sugar to stay stable instead of going to 300, 400. Well, because that cereal, you got to give up, you know, that, that cereal is really hurting you. <laughs> so things like that that people may not be aware of, they, they think that, oh, this may be sugar-free or whatever, it's just not always helpful. So but the bottom line is, guys, so I think cinnamon may help. There's a modest effect on cinnamon on, on diabetic patients on a high dose. So if you want to go take some capsules, take like anywhere from you know, a gram to three grams, I mean, six gram is possible, but I don't know if you can even achieve that, even with capsules. But if you're buying supplements, I believe there are a lot of supplements out there. I'll, I'll leave a link below for you to uh, check some of the good ones out. But I think uh, you really need to consider working on the diet and exercise, uh, using your medications regularly, Use some supplements, not every supplement out there in the world. Cinnamon is worth trying for a few months, but as I said, you should give some time for it to work. That's true for any supplement. You gotta give some time for any medicine or for any supplement to work while you are still working on your diet and exercise. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Make sure you give a thumbs up, you share this video, and give a like. Thank you very much.